You look like you've got your wits about you. Care to make a bit of extra gold working for Leowin's Ivory Brigade? I've been asked by my captain to find someone who can handle themselves. We need help with a delicate situation. Deadly secrets. Assassins. Murder. Now apparently a counselor has gone missing. Between the war, bandits, and cultists, the Ivory Brigade is like the Nord that tries to plug a leaking cask of mead, only to realize he doesn't have enough fingers. Talk to my commander, Captain Rian Lior. You can find him just outside the city gates, trying to appease some of the nobles. Tell him I sent you, and he'll put you right to work, I'm sure.
you know how long I've been looking for you. Greetings to you. You are the one I see. Greetings. My benefactor wishes to speak to you about a matter that could affect the fate of our world. If my benefactor wished to discuss details in the open, why send a messenger? The matter is for your ears only. A passenger cabin in the interim suitor down at the docks. Do not tarry. You there. How it... You look capable. I could use some help. If you aren't afraid of a ruthless, dastardly scoundrel. Let me start again. I represent Cyrodiilic Collections, a society dedicated to finding, retrieving, and restoring lost treasures of the Argonians. Our society consists of my sister, myself, and a few associates. We've been preparing an expedition to return the antiquities we've recovered to Merkmire, deep in the heart of Black Marsh. Unfortunately, our competition has become... aggressive. One and the same, Margus Darius. He's a looter of history who cares only about profit. He was a member of our society until he stole our research and disappeared. I need you to infiltrate the nearby Outlaws Refuge and find out what Margus is up to. While I've never visited an outlaw's refuge myself, I have it on good authority that all manner of ne'er-do-wells frequent such places. Scoundrels, black marketeers, and smugglers of ill repute. Just the sort of company that Margus keeps. Talk to a few more connected rapscallions that conduct business down there. I know a few of them by reputation. Look for Grethal, an information broker. Urzashi, an antiquities black marketeer. And Ashundir. A historic treasure smuggler. Margus originally approached us as a friend and benefactor. I honestly thought he wanted to help return the lost Argonian treasures to their rightful owners. He worked with us for a time, but it wasn't long before he revealed his true colors. Margus wants the antiquities for himself. This competition has taken a violent turn. He has a brutal temper and some skill at spellcasting. Makes me fearful for my associates. Anyway, I think Margus is especially interested in pre-Duskfall relics. Duskfall refers to the slow decline of the great Zoxlil civilization. Ages ago, the Argonians built pyramids called Zonmirs and were much more advanced. Most of our research deals with the more dangerous relics of that period. No, not specifically, but even a hammer can be used for good or ill. Margus seeks one of the pre-Duskfall relics, I'm sure of it. I just need to figure out which one before something terrible occurs. With your help, we can avert a disaster. We're historic investigators. We research and seek out antiquities stolen from the Argonian homeland. When we find them, we return them to Black Marsh. Well, that's the plan. We have a few more items to collect before we make our first journey. Certainly the most important ones. We do need to raise enough gold to finance our operations, though. We'll hold on to a few items to eventually open a museum in Black Marsh. A place where these cultural treasures can be enjoyed by everyone. My sister Falmia became fascinated with Argonian history during our time at the university. 
When she returned home, her stories intrigued me, and I became interested in the topic as well. I can't wait to join her in Merkmire. As soon as we recover the last of the Argonian antiquities on my list, we'll organize an expedition to that region of Blackmarsh. My sister's gone on ahead to set up a base camp and smooth away with the locals. We plan to return most items to their rightful owners. We chose Merkmire, since our research suggests the majority of the items on our list originate there. Finding the rightful owners may require additional expeditions in the area, though. I may be new to the Argonian antiquities trade, but Margus and his cronies know me all too well. They turn me away or stick a dagger in my back before the door closes behind me. I need someone without any ties to Cyrodiil Collections for this. I have other agents that need to be supervised and coordinated. Marcus has already beaten us to a few choice antiquities. I need to make sure that trend doesn't continue. I also have a few leads of my own to follow up on. I'll see you back here. Why would you ever go to that horrible little backwater? I'm telling you, the beast of Shattered Grove come right up to you. Bears eat right out of your hand. Amazing. Can't wait to try out the blade father gave me. Good Matisse and steel against bear flesh.
The stars welcome you, traveler. Take a moment to look over my arms. I assure you, they are as deadly as they are beautiful. Now, I know some of you are wondering why I ban necromancy in my classroom. Trust me, the smell alone is worth steering clear. Don't let this theory of non-conjoined thaumaturgic vectors throw you. It's really quite simple. Never, I repeat, never attempt to draw magicka from the environment like this in the field. Disaster will be your only reward. Fascinating application of the technique. The system of inter-evocative hermetic harmonic resonance we still use today was developed during the construction of the Crystal Tower. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. I call this Shalador's legacy. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. When we're on Guild business, we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls. 
Vanus Galerian, one of the founding members of this august body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the artificer, to ensure our future success. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. I suggest you begin by talking to Velast, our mistress of Incunabula. She often has tasks for new recruits. Good luck. for crafting certification you here for crafting certification don't worry there's no cost involved your alliance covers all my fees once you're certified they'll let you fulfill the crafting writs everyone wins they're daily requests for crafted goods but they're only available to certified crafters if you can show me you know your craft I'll get you certified Next time I'm in the field. Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guildmaster and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the danger and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. No. We only draw blades in service to the guild. We're technically neutral in the war between the three alliances. We love the Eagle Banner and Her Majesty, of course. But every race, every creed belongs under the Guild Hall's roof. Ha! There's a good question. We train our members in special techniques. And the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. Guildmaster Yofnir passed away recently, very suddenly. I always thought he'd die with a blade in his hand. But he passed away in his sleep, called to Sarven Guard by his ancestors. We all miss him, but Colors has proven to be a very able leader. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. You're in luck, comrade. Sees all colors herself is here today. Why don't you go introduce yourself?
Where's that help I was promised? I can't deal with this on my own. You must be the help the Skull King promised. I just hope you're up to the task. This threat, it's bigger than King Yorin imagined. The Ice Reach Coven. Witches operating in secret right under the Skald King's ample nose. There's more going on than the usual Reach mischief, I'm sure of it. I need to investigate, but I can't do it by myself. Help me track down the Coven and figure out their ultimate plan. Between the two of us, we can cover more ground and determine the full extent of this threat. As long as the magic provided by Yorin's wizards works as promised, that is. Meet me in Grotwood. The Scald King's scout spotted members of the Coven near Boar's Run. We'll start there. Meet me near the Overlook at the Elden Root Temple. As for the magic, I'll tell you more about that when we're away from prying eyes. King Yorin sent me to look into a sudden barrage of storms in the Sea of Ghosts. At least two ships sank beneath the freezing waves. The Ice Reach Coven was responsible. I uncovered evidence suggesting they're planning an attack on the mainland. I'm not exactly sure. That's why we need to investigate. But if they have the ability to summon destructive storms on command, think of the damage they can inflict on towns and cities. Look, are you ready to go, or do you need time to prepare? Keep your voice down. Buildings have ears, especially guild halls. I'll give you all the details when we get where we're going. I chartered a wagon to take us there. Is there anything else you need to know before we head out? You can't keep up. Those that can't keep up get left behind. I bring an urgent message from Rhea Opaka.
Best discuss that with Rhea. Greetings, Milksop. You must be lost. This is where undaunted drink, not Milksops. Now go away, Milksop. This one does not want to catch your Milksopiness. Ha! <laughs> You've probably fought what? Some mud crabs and malnourished bandits? Undaunted tackled the big things. Scary things. Found only in the dark places of the world. Things with flesh-eating fists, hungry for your face. We are thrill-seeking adventurers, every one. We aren't mercenaries like the Fighters Guild, or patriots like the Dominion. We fight to prove we're the toughest of the litter. You want in? You'll have to prove yourself. That's the spirit. What's a centuries-old cursed bloodline in the face of unmitigated bravado? Enter the banished cells, stay a while, maybe bother a ghost. If you come out alive, see me at the tavern in Volkelgard. We'll talk more then. This one doesn't help. This one has already done his due diligence, seen his share of dangerous delves. His job is strictly to send the uninitiated head first into unknowable terror. But good luck in there. You'll come back with a story for sure. We are experienced adventurers. We can teach you skills and tactics a soldier cannot. Our battlefields are the deeps of Tamriel. There's also a cache of weapons and equipment found on our adventures for sale. Much more exotic than the local armory. Out by the old release tombs, you'll find the banished cells. It's just a rumor, but I've heard there's an undead king there. And he's quite a handful for those who guard him. Sounds worthy of a visit. How often do you get to see an undead king?
I don't seem to be making much progress. Understand. If you change your mind, I'll be here. Are you here about the job? To forestall any confusion, yes, we split the proceeds equally. And no, I will not budge on that point. You mean, you aren't here about the notice? Well, allow me to explain. I need a partner for a difficult job. It pays well, but it involves travel, and there is some danger. Does that sound like the sort of thing that might interest you? I'm so glad you came along. I've chartered a ship. When you're ready, meet me there. Here, I'll mark your map. Bring some lockpicks. They sell them here if you don't have any. Oh, and wear something warm. I've never had a partner. I mean, on all other big jobs I've done, which I did alone, quite successfully, and most of the people I interviewed thought the rendezvous was too far away. Well, I paid for a ship in advance. I didn't realize how far I'd have to look to find a suitable partner. For the job, I mean. But we can talk about this at the docks. Let's talk about details when we rendezvous. It's not that I don't trust you, I'm just... I don't think I've made a good impression in this place. That is, if you're still interested. You are, right? Of course you are, I'm only joking. I've never had a partner. I mean, on all other big jobs I've done, which I did alone, quite successfully, and most of the people I interviewed thought the rendezvous was too far away. If you're looking for information, then you've come to the right place. I am the most knowledgeable broker in the refuge. On the other hand, if you work for the town guard, I have no idea what we're talking about. Well, information is my primary business, and business is good. Which reminds me, I never give anything away for free, especially information. Perform a favor for me, then I'll tell you what I know about Margus Darius. The best kind. One that benefits us both. Allow me to mark a house on your map. Inside you'll find a crate that contains an elegant jacket. I am something of a snappy dresser and I want that... A thousand greetings, Wayfarer. This is no place for casual visitors. You have wandered into a nest of vipers. But have no fear. A Shundir will take care of you. Come closer and let us conduct business. Oh, 
Oh, I prefer merchant to smuggler, but call me what you will. I transport rare and valuable antiquities, no questions asked. I'm also considered the most knowledgeable Argonian relics expert outside of Black Marsh. So, how can I help you this day? Ah, I know Margus well. We both deal in antiquities. He actually approached me recently. As a consultant, you understand. So I'm familiar with Margus's current plans. I am happy to share that information. In exchange for a simple favor? A thousand greetings, Wayfarer. This is no place for casual. <laughs> I prefer merchant to smuggler, but call me one. Ah, I know Mark. <sighs> Such aggression. There is no need to threaten violence, my friend. Ashundir said he would take care of you, and indeed he will. Margus has associated himself with a band of thugs and outlaws. They hide in a cave like rabid guar. The cave is called the Sunless Hollow, and it's located not too far from here. I have one more secret for you, Wayfarer, so listen well. Margus and his associates are dangerous. I suggest caution. And with that, our business comes to an end. A fool.
never be finished. Glyphs hold the key. I have trained many honorable warriors, Wayfarer. As I look upon your stance, your eyes, the set of your shoulders. Yes, I see it clearly. You are the one who will aid me with this most important task. A former student requires my assistance, but I cannot do what is necessary on my own. You have heard that dragons threaten elsewhere? We seek the wisdom of the ancient Dragon Guard, who once hunted them nearly to extinction. In their tombs, I'll search one, you the other, using this Dragon Guard seal. The seal will activate three glyphs that will reveal the entrance to the tomb. Between the both of us, I pray we find the wisdom my student seeks. Will you help me? Find the three glyphs in Tenzelwith. Let me mark their locations on your map, along with where I think the hidden tomb lies. I prepared notes as well. Feel free to take them with you. Expert? <laughs> Far from it. I started looking into the history to help my former student. The recent Dragon Guard were defenders of the Emperor. But according to legend, in the distant past, they hunted dragons nearly to extinction. When the last Emperor of the Riemann Dynasty was assassinated, the Dragon Guard were disbanded. Various Emperors in the intervening years have formed their own versions to add legitimacy to their rule, but they were never the same. It's an heirloom my former student provided. It contains a minor enchantment that reveals hidden glyphs. I imagine it was once used as a way to pass along secret information, now, we will use it to find the hidden Dragon Guard tombs. We can discuss that later. Right now, we have our own tasks to accomplish. Remember, the dragons are already loose and elsewhere. Just know that my former student seeks a way to fight those great beasts before the damage they inflict cannot be undone.
once you determine the nature of the three glyphs, you can use that knowledge to reveal the entrance to the tomb. Feel free to consult my notes. They should help if you run into any problems. I'll answer what I can, but understand that my knowledge is based mostly on theory and conjecture. We seek hidden glyphs that will help us open Dragon Guard tombs. At least, that is my hope. A series of glyphs act as a sort of key to the tomb they are connected to. The seal will identify which glyphs to use to reveal the entrance to the tomb. At least, that's what my research indicates. There are two tombs nearby. While you find a way to enter one, I will attempt to enter the second. This way, we will accomplish twice the work in half the time. Historical documents would be good. The more we can learn about the Dragon Guard and how they hunted, the better chance we'll stand against the dragons. If we're lucky, we may even come upon one of the legendary Dragon Guard weapons. Always there a you are. Thought. Took you long enough. Try not to lose those stones. As flattered as I am by the attention, I'm pretty sure you're here to talk to the great Abner Tharn. <laughs> Since I'm done with the old wizard, he's all yours. Just that. My business. But since I'm really quite proud of it, I'll give you the basics. I'm the soon-to-be world-famous scholar and explorer, Thraya. Perhaps you've heard of me? I discovered the Wrathstone tablet. Two halves of an ancient tablet. I recovered them from the ruins of Frostvault and Malatar. Tharn thinks he can decipher them. He gave me a great deal of gold, so now the tablet is his. Besides, he promised to share his findings. <laughs> that works for me. I see my summons reached you. Good. Good. You may wonder who I am and why I sent for you. Don't. Just... I see my summons reached you. I see my summons reached you. Good. Good. You may wonder who I am and why I sent for you. Don't. Just trust me. I have only the best interests of the Empire in mind, but we must leave now if we... A situation that could end the Three Banners War and return Irene, Emmerich, and Euron to their senses. While these children squabble over territory, the common people and the Empire suffer. We need to jump on this opportunity, don't you agree? Simply put, I just acquired two halves of an ancient tablet, the Wrathstone. 
It forms a map that will lead us to a weapon capable of forcing all sides to cease their aggressive behavior. Help me find this weapon and we can end the war. We must hurry. Even now, someone follows me, resisting my best efforts to identify them. While I deal with this threat, I need you to begin the process of locating the triangulants. Without them, the map is worthless. Of course it is. I just invented it. Right now, the map shown on the Wrathstone has no identifying features. Without the triangulants, I have no context by which to read the map. I know a Khajiiti lawmaster, however, who can help with that. Each half of the tablet contains part of a map and an inscription. Kanzari and the demon weapon. The key to finding the triangulants resides in that Khajiiti myth. We must convince Dagaril Dro to direct us to storytellers who know the legend. Dagaril Dro often wanders the Oridon coast. We need to bring him a gift, however, and I know he's fond of dusk mushrooms. Gather the mushrooms from the ruins of Bowan, then meet me at the Lawmaster's camp. I'll mark the location on your map. I know about a great many things, but Khajiiti legends tend to be convoluted. The Lawmaster must direct us to the secret order of storytellers, the Moon Singers. Only they can set us on the correct path. Now, gather the mushrooms for Dagaril Dro. An associate pointed me toward the scholar, Theraya, who agreed to deliver the tablet. She uncovered the two halves at Frostvault and Garlas Malatar, then had the audacity to charge me a small fortune. Still, the tablet forms the map we need. The tablet speaks of Kunzari and the demon weapon he hid away in an ancient place of power. But the map isn't complete. It requires triangulants to serve as orientation points. Without those, it's worthless. That's where the storytellers come in. Written records are silent on the subject, but the tablet indicates that Kunzari hid a demon weapon. That's the best translation I could manage. Demon weapon. I believe it's the same relic Queen Anequina used to end the first war of the Prides. Khajiiti legends, each based on a modicum of truth. Queen Anequina led the most powerful of the 16 Khajiit kingdoms. It even took her name. When the Khajiit fought the first war of the Prides, Queen Anequina used a relic to restore the peace. A mythic hero of the Khajiit. His tales tend to be rather outlandish, so we need to separate the truth from the lies. Once we gather the stories related to Kunzari and the demons, we'll find clues that will lead us to the Triangulants. Menial labor? I think not. But weren't you paying attention? Someone has been following me ever since I decided upon this course of action. Despite my efforts, their identity remains annoyingly elusive. Only a mage of great power could hide from me. I doubt my stalker has any interest in you. Why do you think I requested your aid? Given your relative unimportance, you should be able to travel unmolested. Once I've dealt with my stalker, I'll join you at Dagaril Dro's camp. Five-fold venerable.